Hey guys, if you've introduced food to your infant recently and noticed that they are disinterested, it might be because they are tongue-tied. I'm gonna show you three ways to determine if your infant is in fact tongue-tied. Let's jump right in. Hi, my name is April and I have a blog which is called amomslifeunscripted.com. It's for new mommies who are trying to master motherhood. For more information, you can click the link in my bio for all the details. So my son is seven and a half months old and we started to introduce food to him when he was about four months old, all right? Before you introduce any type of solids to your child, you wanna make sure that you talk to their pediatrician. Usually around the four month mark, any baby is given the clearance, depending on their health and medical history to start introducing foods. So that's what my husband and I started to do. By his six month appointment, we noticed that he was still not consuming food as other uh, people had mentioned that their child did at that age. So we became concerned that maybe there was something else going on with his feeding. Now, usually I'm the person who's feeding my uh, son Noah during the day, and then my husband will feed our son at night. So mornings is mommy and dinners is daddy, right? <laughs> so one of the first signs that I noticed that something was wrong with his feeding is that he was disinterested. We would give him the spoon. He would not really take to any type of food. By the time your infant is about six months old, they should have a favorite type of puree, all right? So applesauce, carrots, pumpkin. If they haven't taken a liking to a particular type of puree, chances are they might have something going on with their feeding and you want to mention it to their pediatrician. The next thing that we noticed is that Whenever Noah is on the bottle, he sucks really, really hard and makes a uh, uh, sound when he's consuming formula. So that's another sign that your baby might have a tongue tie. The last thing that we noticed is that whenever we would stick the food via spoon in his mouth, he would push it out with his tongue. Usually what happens is when you introduce a spoon, it is a new technique and you do have to teach your baby how to use a spoon. If they're constantly pushing it out with their tongue, they're not able to receive the nutrients. That's another sign that they might be tongue tied. I'm gonna give you three more tips so that you can determine if your baby may have a tongue tie. Now, after introducing your baby to food, if you notice that they immediately stick their thumb in their mouth, if they're using their pacifier to put in their mouth immediately after you've spoon fed them, there's a good chance that they have some sort of tongue tie. What happens is the thumb or the pacifier is acting as a mechanism to push the food to the back of their throat to swallow, all right? If your child is an avid thumb sucker, even before you introduce food, they might have a tongue tie. Again, these are things that you should definitely check with your pediatrician as well as go to a food specialist. The last thing that we noticed with our son Noah that gave us an indication that he might be tongue tied is the way that he sleeps. He usually sleeps with his head up in a more upward position, you know, it's not really horizontal and straight. His head kind of cocks to the side um, whenever he's in, uh, whenever he's asleep. So that's another indicator that they might have some sort of tongue tie. Now, a tongue tie is not like the end of the world. It just means that as the child gets older, they may develop a lisp, and it's also genetic. So I, as a child was also a little tongue tied. I did have surgery in my 20s to try to rectify the situation. But if you have a lisp or you find that um, you've had to have braces multiple times, you can't put your tongue at the root of your mouth, chances are that you might have a tongue tie. And if you have any children, they may have it as well because it is genetic, all right? So those are the tips to determine if your little one is in fact tongue tied. For more information, you can click the link in my bio to visit my blog. 
which is amomslifeunscripted.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Say bye. Say bye.